I am so fired up. We got a few here with us, man. How are you? Oh my goodness. Men, welcome to the locker room. Ladies, I know some of you sneak on too, so uh, welcome to the locker room. I'm so excited to share with you tonight. By the way, uh, happy Thanksgiving to you. I hope you have the greatest Thanksgiving of your life, man. I'm fired up for you. Hey, I hope you uh, got a piece of paper ready, a smart pad, something. Uh, do not think you'll be able to retain all this. I've got a lot of information that will be so vital in the future of your life. Remember, in order to live a noteworthy life, you have to take notes. And so I, I just want us men to have the profuse habit of being note takers and setting the example for other leaders uh, in their lives. Anyhow, I, I, I'm, I'm so excited to share with you tonight about the power of consistency. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about faithfulness tonight because in the world, man, can I tell you something? The world believes you find the able and you make them faithful. But we know who are deep in understanding of how our maker really works in our lives is that God finds the faithful and then he makes them able. And so I want you to know that doesn't mean we shouldn't be gifted and educated and we, we need to have self-improvement. I get that I, and I know that. But I don't think there's anything more frustrating in this world than to know somebody who is very gifted, very talented, somebody that can think, and yet they just can't be faithful. They're just not consistent. Uh, so tonight I want to give you 10 principles of consistency. But before we do that, uh, let me just say this to you. Consistency is probably one of the most underrated skills that we have. I, I would tell you that most of us have heard this statement. If you always do what you've always done, you will always get what you always got. Mm -hmm. So what you do consistently, you begin to build habits and these things change your life. To improve is to change, but to be excellent, you must change often. Excellence. Still know that consistency you have no idea what a force it is in your life and in my life, in my relationships, in my finances, in my health, in my work, in every area of your life, consistency is so critically important. Consistency is always before mastery. Consistency is always in front of, leads the way of, mastery. For you to be the best, I want you to write this down in big capital letters. I will be the best Come on. at the basics. The basics. I see a lot of people always trying to do these big trickery things. And what I find out is that big doors swing on little hinges. And the more you get consistent in the main thing, the more powerful you will become. So with all of this in mind, I want you to know the fruit of consistency. I will tell you, I believe this, that if I am not consistent, I will be frustrated and not fruitful. There's a lot of people that have big callings and big gifts. I got a lot of entrepreneurs on this call tonight. But I will tell you right now, the consistency that you live in your life, it's why in the locker room, we talk a lot about predictable, dependable, and defendable. We talk a lot about honor, order, and authority. So here's what we know, that consistency and being consistent is so life-changing. Why do I fail to be consistent? Well, if you're like me, I remember a lot of times I've set some new goals for myself. I've set some new standards for myself. And then I find myself, as soon as I start doing it, uh, I give up so easily. It's like I'm consistent for a little bit, but I'm not consistent long enough to really see life change. And if you're anything like me, you know what I'm talking about here. I can tell you what makes me quit. 
There is what makes me quit is that I give up on the things that I can control. See, most of us think that our lives are out of control and that my future and my success is not within my ability or my, uh, my, my own mind to stay in control of it. So let me give you some things that will destroy your consistency. Just six real quick, and then I'll give you the 10. Number one, I'm too vague. I'm too vague. I don't clearly define what it is that I need to do to achieve, or why, or how, or who. Now we could talk right there for an hour. Uh, apparently, I just want you to know that you will not be consistent if you don't have a really clear picture of what you want. You can't do it right now, and I'm going to move too fast, but I'm going to ask you tonight to spend 30 minutes really defining what you want. Because if it's not clear, I promise you, you won't go for it. You won't find the energy. You won't find the motivation. You won't find the desire. And you'll just sit down. The second thing is I, I set the bar too high. I set my standards way too high. They're not obtainable. They're not reachable. They're, they're so unrealistic. And so here's what I end up doing. I feel less motivated. Where before I had passion and fire and, and drive, but I set it so high, I just get so frustrated. I just sit down. Uh, the next one is that I set the bar too low. It's just as damaging because it feels so easy that it doesn't inspire me. It doesn't challenge me. It doesn't cause me to stretch. Everything in your life that is important to you is on the other side of uncomfortable. And if you get too comfortable in what you're setting, you won't stay consistent. Now, I want to pause just for a second and ask you, in your life right now, where is there an area where you know, maybe two or three, where I need to get more consistent. I need to do it. The fourth thing that happens is, is I get bored. I, I just, I don't find any excitement. There's no fun in it. If you don't find passion inside of you right now for chasing what you are, see, you gotta be careful that you don't get bored. And when men with gifts and talents and abilities get bored, they do very dangerous, damaging things. It will cause you to do things that will cause you to waste your life, not invest your life. The fifth thing is what happens is I, I, I do things, but it's no longer relevant. It's like I, I've been studying German, but I'm moving to Japan. And in life right now, you need to go into your life. I need to go in my life right now and go, what is it right now? that I'm doing that's irrelevant for my success. It may be something I love to do, it's just not fruitful. So look at this in your life. Number six, um, I haven't adjusted other parts of my life to support my new goal and commitment. Mm -hmm. You gotta look at yourself right now and say, you know what, if I'm gonna go running, we just recently had a 5K at G5. And we started out with this thing called the, the couch to 5K, okay? And a lot of us ran, and we had so much fun. But guess what? We didn't on the first day go out and run 5K. We walked, we ran, we walked some more, but we adjusted other things in our lives. A lot of us adjusted our diets. A lot of us adjusted our resting times. So I just encourage you, to look at your life right now and say, am I putting the other areas of my life in order to accomplish what it is that I say I want to accomplish where I can be consistent? How are you doing on time management? How are you doing on energy management? How are you doing in stewardship of your life right now? Are you living at another level? Are you thinking at another level? Or are you trying to get everybody to come down to your level? Look into your life right now and ask, where am I being consistent in every area of my life? So 10 things I can do to be more consistent. 
Uh, by the way, I want to tell you this. Sticking to your habits, being disciplined in your habits, does not have to be hard, but it does require pre-thought and pre-planning on what you're going to do. By the way, one of the ways I could see if you're really going to have what you say you want in your life is by seeing how well you're preparing in order to have it. The proof of desire is pursuit. The proof of desire is pursuit. What is it that right now you say you desire, but you're not pursuing it consistently? I'm not getting the education. I don't have the right association. I'm inconsistent when I show up. I'm inconsistent in my life in so many areas. I will tell you, successful people do continually, constantly, what unsuccessful people do every now and then. It just makes all the difference in the world. So, number one, if I'm going to be more consistent, I need to clearly define what I'm trying to achieve. Right now on your work, right now in your relationships, right now in your finances, have you sit down and said, this is how I'm going to do it, this is when I'm going to do it by, and this is who I need in my life to help me accomplish it. Two ways to learn in life. Mistakes or mentors. And if you're going to have a mentor, make sure you give them the gift of consistency. Because if not, they can be a great teacher, a great coach, but somebody that doesn't consistently apply the principles they need to achieve, they will slow down. So I want to encourage you, write it down. Write it down. If there's a challenge or a problem involved, listen, please. A problem defined is 50% solved. It's got to be clear in your life. So people who write down their goals are, this I think is low, are 42% more likely to achieve them than those that do not. Social Security followed a hundred men. Only five of them wrote their goals down. And those five succeeded at what they did while the other 95 did not. It's so critical. The second thing is be clear on why you want to achieve your goal. Not only what you want, but why? Why do you want it? Let me tell you what I believe that you're looking for. I believe that you're looking for a feeling that you want to feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you accomplish something, it brings a feeling. Mm -hmm. If you have a little car that you want to buy, if you've got a watch that you want to buy, if you have something you want to do for somebody you love, it's the feeling mm -hmm. that I did something that was valuable. What is it right now that is stealing your feeling out of your life? because you don't succeed. You don't stay consistent. And therefore, do you know what you do? You end up feeling really bad about yourself and your self-esteem. So here's what you need to ask right now. What are the benefits of me achieving my goal? What happens if I achieve it? Here's a bigger one. What happens if I don't achieve it? Whose respect am I going to lose? What opportunities will I miss if I do not remain consistent? Here's what I want to encourage you to do. List of whys are so important. Why do I want to do this? Why do I want to do this? Why do I want to love my, life, my wife consistently? Why do I want to show her consistent? For you single guys, you need to write this down. Because it prepares the next generation how to build positive relationships. The, the third thing is uh, set a hard, unmovable date. It, it's immovable. 
if you don't date it, I promise you, any time is no time. You've got to say to yourself, this is when I will reach my goal. And you have to set a hard date on it. You have to write it down and say, by this time, I'm going to get this done. Uh, I go back to the G5 5K. We all knew the date. And so we were running. My wife and I ended up in Italy and we, we went on vacation. Guess what we did? Every day we walked and ran. And it was, I don't know why, it was just easier to run in Italy than it is in America. I don't know why it was. It must have been the Caprese salads I was eating. But can I tell you something? Uh, I, I just knew that I was coming up on it. And so here's what some of us do. Now listen to me, please. You wait too late to start. And then you think in a week you can do what should have taken two months. And some of you over extend yourselves all the time because you think you can get more done and you delay gratification you don't know anything about. You won't put off the urgent for the important. So in your life, just know that you need accountability when you do these things. Number four, break your main goal down into bite-sized monthly and weekly chunks. Break down your main goal into bite size. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Now listen, I want to tell you something right now. Some of you are going to me right now, hey, Goat, I know this already. <laughs> to which I want to tell you, I know you know it. But I also want to challenge you right now. Can I grab you by the face mask for a minute and tell you, I know you're not doing it. <laughs> and here's what I'm trying to save you from. The frustration and you beating yourself up because you don't do it. Here is the question you need to ask yourself in this arena. What actions do I need to take every day to support my goal? What do I have to do? What do I need to do in order to reach my goal? Do I need to maybe accelerate what I'm doing? Make an even deeper commitment? What do I need to do to reach my goal? Somebody asked me one day, what do you do, Tim? I said, I do whatever it takes. I do whatever it takes. See, some of you, I love you. Please don't get mad at me, my name's PT. Some of you are way too easy on yourself. Some of you let yourself off of a hook. You do not have consistency in your life and you need to get it because it's not what I do randomly. It's what I do constantly that matters more and more in my life. Number five, uh, prioritize bite-sized chunks in your calendar for your new habit. So I'm going to do something every day to support it. Now I'm going to look at my calendar and I'm going to schedule it. You say, Tim, what should I be doing? You need to look at your schedule and see what's on it. You need to know when you're starting. You need to know when you're finishing. You need to know what the big rocks are in your life, the most important things in your life. And you need to know what are the things that don't matter the most. Mm -hmm. See, if you end up in your life doing things that don't matter most, your priorities are out of alignment. Mm -hmm. So you go, hey, Goad, how do I set my priorities? I want to tell you. Number one, you have to decide what it is that you cannot delegate. What are the priorities of my life? I have to do this. I can't delegate it. There's a lot of things you can delegate in your life. Let me tell you what you cannot delegate. You cannot delegate personal growth and spiritual growth. And by the way, those ought to be the big rocks that go in first in your life. So if you do this, you're going to find out that the rest of your life will come together. The second thing you need to ask yourself is, where do I get my greatest return? What brings the greatest return in my life, on my job, in my relationships? The third thing is, where do I get my greatest reward? It may not be money. It may be a feeling that says, man, I come alive. My life has meaning when I do this. That's why I want to challenge you on this call tonight. If you're not serving in some capacity, serve. It's in serving that you find out so much about yourself. 
You find out what you're made of. You find out your capacity. You find out, your, 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 honestly, how mentally tough you are. You find out if your life is in order or out of order. So prioritize it. Uh, I, I talked to you again about running the 5K. It was just so critical for us to do this. Um, I, I want to I warn you now. This process will take some time, but if you will stay consistent at it, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Number six, build the habits into systems that support it. Oh my goodness. Almost every one of us on this call tonight, we have about the same goals. We want to achieve. We want to prosper. We want to be happy. Do you know what separates us? Systems. And if you put systems in and you absolutely consistently work these systems, it'll change everything in your life. So here's what I want to encourage you to do. Stay consistent. Some of us need to stay consistent and identify what my habits need to be that are lifting and helping me prosper versus breaking those consistent moments that cause me and my life to be, it's detrimental. It's just detrimental to my goals. So what I have to do is continually look at it and say, am I being consistent at this? What do I need to change? And what do I need to do in order to get better? Uh, can I tell you this personally, just for one second, punch balls. If you've got a new dream and a new goal, you're going to have to give up something in order to have it. You can't have it all. So you need to look at your life right now and say, what do I need to do? Right now, I'm telling you, I've lost 44 pounds. Thank you very much. But can I tell you, I got 15 more to go. And the 15 that I got to go are a lot harder than the 44 I just came through. It's demanding less calories. It's demanding more exercise. Uh, you say, Tim, do you like it? No, I don't like it at all. I would rather be consistent at eating Butterfingers and Big Macs <laughs> than eating grilled chicken. Matter of fact, I was telling myself today, you know what? I don't even know why I eat. Because <laughs> I don't enjoy it. So right now, you know what I'm telling myself? Hey. Start enjoying what you don't enjoy so that you can enjoy mm -hmm. what you want to enjoy. Mm -hmm. In your life right now, I just want to encourage you this. Number seven, find a friend, a buddy, that can share in your mission. A battle buddy. Studies show that when you buddy up, even in exercise, you can lift more weight and you can run way farther. Uh, the Power of the Other is a really great book about this. And, and I just encourage you because in life, you got to find out when you say, I'm at my wit's end, I can't take any more pain. Watch this. Doctors will tell you, you're at only 30% of your capacity of what you can take. It's why when you got a buddy that says, give me one more, give me one more. And so many times in the Marines uh, and, and in the Navy SEALs, there's a bell. You can ring it at any moment. But with a buddy saying, no, you've got it. Hang in there. They've done studies where they're swimming and they're so exhausted they can't see straight. And their buddy starts screaming from the store, the shore, you got this. Find somebody that will work with you and be consistent. You got to watch your friends. Because some of your friends will try to talk you out of being consistent. Mm -hmm. And they'll want you to go play when you should be working. <laughs> they'll want you to be distracted when you should be working. Number eight, find one or more people who will hold you accountable. Who will hold you accountable. Who is it in your life right now that holds you accountable. Beware of a life 
that has no accountability. If you don't have any accountability, I promise you, you may not know it, but you are in trouble. You're in trouble. You need to have accountability in your life. It is, I call it the freedom of accountability. Do you know how many times in your life when you're not accountable, it opens you up to major, to major failure? But when you predetermine that I'm going to live my life accountable to other people, it changes everything in your life. Number nine, track your progress. I could spend an hour right here. Feedback is the key to consistency in your life. Uh, in your life right now, do you have feedback? Do you have somebody saying to you, hey, if you would just do that this way, how did that feel? What would you do differently? Feedback. Somebody coaching you. And I'm not talking about positive criticism. I'm talking about coaching where somebody says, hey, instead of that wasted motion right there, do this. And it will change everything. It's why you need a coach in your life. It's why you need a mentor in your life. And, and some of you are so frustrated because you know what? Everybody around you continually reminds you of what you're not. And what I want to tell you is, is you come farther than you ever thought you could. And you're just getting started. So check regularly and sit down and go, you know what? Am I winning? Am I accomplishing? Am I moving closer? Now, I'm going to tell you something. You'll work and 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 you'll look up and go, nothing's changing. I want to encourage you for about the first six months when you start this, you do the work and leave the measuring to somebody else. Because you're not smart enough yet to measure your own mm. progress. They can see where you're changing and growing and developing where you cannot. And there's nothing that motivates like winning and growing and getting better. So I want to encourage you to do that. Number 10, uh, be flexible. Be flexible. Uh, now, I want to tell you, in your life, some of you are so rigid. If it does not go as planned... You just, you bail. Well, I'm going home, going, I, 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 I. no, no, no. Stay flexible. Yeah. Now, let me tell you what flexibility does not mean. Well, Tim said on the men's call the other day, I should be flexible. So it doesn't <coughs> matter if I'm disciplined or not. It doesn't matter if I show up on time. It doesn't matter that I consistently work in my own, I, I, I'm not telling you, that's not flexibility. That's actually the lack of discipline. Mm -hmm. Flexibility is when things go wrong, I don't get so bent out of shape, I just go sit down yeah. and I'm frustrated. It means all success is built on failure. So here's what I wanna encourage you to do. Uh, stay to your habits. Inspiration does not always work. So discipline is going to matter. And consistency is the outgrowth. And you won't believe how consistent you will get in your life. Be so consistent in your life. Be consistent in your family. Be consistent in your finances. Get a savings program and stay on it. Decide how much you want to make. You know one of the greatest ways to decide and up your income? is by setting a generosity goal. I'm gonna give $1,000, so guess what I have to do? I have to make 10,000, clear. So here's what I wanna encourage you to do. Uh, be kind enough to yourself to change something when it's not working. Most of us, when it's not working, we get frustrated, and you know what else we do? We get embarrassed. Mm -hmm. And then I just want to sit down and go hide. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you how important consistency is. Faithfulness is the key to your life. So there's commitment, there's loyalty, there's perseverance, there's faithfulness, there's sacrifice, there's discipline, 
there's endurance. All these are really incredible words in your life. I encourage you to start looking at them. But tonight, I wanted to spend a couple of minutes with you just focusing on consistency. Be consistent in your reading. Be consistent in your listening to podcasts. Be consistent in your daily disciplines of your life. Remember this. The first person you get to lead is you. The second person you get to lead is your family. The third person you get to lead is people around you. And the fourth person you get to lead is a leader. If you don't lead you well, there's probably a good chance you won't have the credibility for anybody to go, why would I follow that? I don't care how young you are or how mature you are. These principles will work in your life if you absolutely make a decision to be consistent. I want to beg you right now to be true to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Don't tell yourself I'm being consistent if I am not. And I encourage you to go underground with it. Make a decision that I'm going to be consistent and then let other people reap the fruit of your consistency. Be consistent in your talk. Be consistent in your personal development. Be consistent in when you show up. Be consistent when you leave. Be consistent in the words you say. Be consistent in the love that you give. Be consistent in the encouragement that you give to others. I promise you, we're going we're gonna to conquer this word consistency. And we're going to win in a big way. I love you, man. Great to be with you. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and uh, just know, know how proud I am of you. You got this. If you're on the call brand new tonight, welcome. Welcome to the call. I appreciate you guys inviting more and more men on this call. We have a big vision, and we want to see the world changed one man at a time, one leader at a time, as we get equipped to go make a difference in this world. Charge, guys. Great to be with you. Woo!